Justice Good here, back with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a graffiti inspired photo manipulation where you can place one image onto a texture like a brick wall within the boundaries of a spray paint splatter. So let's go ahead and recreate this from scratch. What you'll need is a texture like a brick wall open that up in Photoshop and an image. I have an image of this girl here. So what I'm going to do first, this is just kind of big, I'll go to image, image size, and I'm just going to use 1200 pixels. You can use whatever you'd like. Really is all up to you. I'm just using a more workable size. I'll go ahead and scale that to 100% and I can begin working. Also, I'm going to take the image of this girl here, drag it in, and we'll just kind of hide this for now. Before we start working on that image, we're going to go to Layer, New Layer, or Shift-Command-N. I'll call it Graffiti, and we're going to create a graffiti splatter. So grab your brush tool pick one of the default brushes here increase the size to about a hundred hundred fifty depending on how big your canvas is and then head over to the window brush window this is going to open up the brush palette and we can adjust a lot of things you want to go ahead and check the noise feature and then kind of create a rough circle. It doesn't really matter what color it is, I'm just using default black so I can see what I'm working with. So kind of create this rough circle and then click on or with the brush palette still open, increase the hardness a little bit. Also it doesn't hurt to have scattering on just a tad maybe 30 percent. Lower the brush size to about 50 less than you were using and then with that more dense brush by turning the hardness up you want to go around some of the edges. Not all the way, you want it to look perfect you want it to kind of look ununiform like it came out of a spray can. And then once you're all set with that Go ahead and lower the size of the brush to about 10. You'll see in, in proportion to the image, like something that would look like a drip. And then lower it or adjust it to a different size. Like you don't want them all to be the same size. Option Command Z for undo, edit, undo every time that I mess up or it doesn't look the way I want. Anyways, once you're all set with the graffiti, you're going to go ahead and recheck that image. And what you're going to do is create a layer, create clipping mask. And so now you can position this layer within the boundaries of the other layer. Now when you create that clipping mask, you have to make sure that your photo is above the graffiti splatter that you created. And one more thing I'm going to do here is transform command T, hold shift and alt to constrain the proportions and drag from the middle and then drag the corner down so that she fits better into the splatter. Now I'm going to go back to my graffiti splatter, increase my brush size and lower the hardness and then kind of paint in some areas that I want to be visible, like the arm and the chest and a little bit of the hair as well. It all depends on if your original placement was good and then on top of that I can even add some new splatters or drips that weren't there before. So once you're all set with your graffiti and your splatter you want to hold shift S click the first layer hold shift and select both layers and then position them 
in the wherever you'd like you know, on the side in in the center you can do this with multiple people and kind of create a collage if you'd like I'm just gonna keep this one girl in the center and then as a final touch grab the graffiti layer here and set that to hard light so there you have the final effect uh, I can imagine that this would be pretty cool if you added multiple people kind of in the left middle and the right and you can really play around and create whatever you want with this style. It's not supposed to actually look like the person was created with spray paint, but it's supposed to kind of be a cool little graffiti inspired photo manipulation. So thanks for watching. Uh, more tutorials coming. Uh, new year, I'm looking to get back into it. And I also have still got to make a, a video to explain my third action pack, which is already out for purchase. The other two were free. This one is not free, but I'm going to make a video explaining it shortly. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.